Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to MAC 1105. Um, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to solve a system of nonlinear uh, equation. In uh, intermediate algebra course, you guys already learned how to solve a system of linear equation. Um, the system of linear equation contain, contain two equations. That's what we learn in uh, intermediate algebra. And both both of the equation is in linear form, which is in the form of ax plus by equals c. Uh, however, for a system of nonlinear, where we when we mention nonlinear, we mean that one of the equation could be uh, something different from uh, ax squared plus bx equals c. Okay, the degree is higher than than uh, than the first degree. Okay, so let's see how we're gonna solve that system. Okay, so let's get started. Right, so I'm gonna put the topic today uh, system of nonlinear <coughs> non linear okay, equation. So as long as one of the equation in the system is not in the form ax plus by equals c or is not in the form of first degree polynomial, okay, or is not in the form of y equal to mx plus b, we can call that system nonlinear. Of course, if, if both of them is not both both if both of them is not in the form of uh, uh, ax plus by plus c, then yes, it is it, nonlinear. However, if one of them is nonlinear, we can call that system nonlinear. Okay, if one of the equations is nonlinear, then we can call that system is nonlinear. All right. So how are we gonna solve that? And uh, in intermediate algebra course, when you solve system of linear equation, you use substitution and, and uh, elimination method. Right? For the system of nonlinear, you're gonna do the same. Of course, one method will be will be uh, sometimes will be easier than the other method depends on the problem so you guys have to be flexible you can also grab and and get the intersection point between uh, two 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 equation you can do that one so totally we have three different way of uh, solving the system but the graphing method is uh, I'm not gonna do in this uh, video because uh, we require to have a uh, um, very good uh, calculator TI 84 um, so I, I cannot demonstrate it and we don't have it so um, in this video I just focus on two methods the elimination method and the substitution method okay so let's get started so I'm gonna do one uh, method the first method first which is the um, uh, elimination method <coughs> okay no. So in this, when you solve system of linear equation, in order to eliminate it, right? So in order to eliminate one of the term in the first equation and, and and the second equation must be the same. And if it's the same, you can subtract them. Or if it's the opposite, you can you can add them together. And if it's not the same and opposite, we have to multiply the top and the bottom by something so that it's the same. And then you add it, you eliminate one of the variable x or y. Right, so that's what we used to do in 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 in, um, in intermediate algebra for when you solve a system of linear equation. Uh, but for the nonlinear, I think we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, for example, we have a system like this. <laughs> okay, I have a system like this. I have uh, uh, two x square <coughs> plus y square equals seventeen, and over here I have x square plus two y square equal 22 and all right what do you see over here you see that the first equation is nonlinear the second equation is also nonlinear so the both of them is is nonlinear so that's a that's good <laughs> i mean the, because the condition for a system be to be called nonlinear is you just need to have one of the equation nonlinear however both of the equation over here nonlinear then of course this system is nonlinear so how we're gonna how we gonna um, uh, eliminate it? So depending on which variable you want to eliminate. So maybe over here you see that it's not the same, right? 
and uh, by the way, I want to eliminate the x, right? You know, in order to eliminate the x, you need to have it the same and opposite. So what I'm doing, I'm just go ahead and, and multiply the second equation by by a negative two. Okay, I multiply by negative two. So when I multiply by a negative two, my my system become two uh, x square plus y square equals seventeen. I'm going to use different color to to uh, demonstrate it. Okay, for the second equation over here, so you have multiply by negative two, so you have negative two x square, right? Uh, negative uh, four y square equal negative forty four. Alright, so you see the, the coefficient in front of the variable x is the, is the same and opposite. So we can go ahead and we can go ahead and add them up. And when you add them up, what you have you have negative, right? You have uh, <coughs> negative three y square equal to uh, you add them up over here. Give you a thirty. I believe it is also give you negative twenty seven, uh, right? Uh, let me see. Yes, negative twenty-seven. Yes. Now uh, you're gonna get the y, so you're gonna divide both sides by twenty-seven. Divide both sides by, by 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 three, so give you nine. And you take square root. And remember, when you take square root, give you plus minus. Give you plus minus three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plus minus three. So you have two variable, two value for y. It means that we have two value for x. So you're gonna plug into one of them. I think I'm gonna plug into it doesn't matter which which you can put into this one right here. Yeah, it's easier to do, right? So I'm gonna plug three into that. So we have two three square equal twenty two, and so I have x square equal eighteen equal twenty two. So x square equal Four and x equal to plus minus two. Now, if you go ahead and plug negative three in, it's going to give you the same thing, right? <coughs> because negative three square give you uh, also uh, nine times two is also eighteen. So the, the answer is the answer actually the same yeah, plus minus two. So what is will be the solution? What is the intersection point over here? The first intersection point will be um, okay, so answer. Um, I think I'm gonna put solution. Uh, so solution. Okay, so the first point will be um, will be two. Uh, will be two. Uh, 2 and negative 3, right? 2 and uh, negative 3. And the other one will be uh, will be negative 2 and 3. Okay. Uh, what else? We also have more, right? We have we also have um, negative 3 and oh I'm sorry. We also have 2 and negative 3 2 negative 3 and negative 2 negative 3 <coughs> all right so you see that we have four points it means that they are this these two curve right here they intersecting uh, at four different positions you know remember when you do a system of linear right when you have two lines cutting each other we have only one point one point as the solution, but for the nonlinear system, that's the difference between nonlinear system and linear system. The solution could be more than one. In this case, this is there four of them because because just imagine we have two curve right here and it's gonna overlap in each other at only four points. Okay, they cutting each other at four points, they're intersecting each other at four points. Okay, not just one point because it's not a line anymore. It's just, it's not a line. This is not a line, and if it is not a line, it could, just imagine. Just imagine you have you gonna have it overlapping. The curve is overlapping. Okay. And I don't want to mention uh, what the shape of the curve uh, look like because uh, uh, this is one of the concepts we're supposed to know in in, uh, in pre calculus. However, if you if you have graphing calculator, you graph it and you will see uh, it's overlapping at four different positions right here. 
So that is how you see how you do elimination method. I mean, you do the same way as you you do for um, um, uh, what you, you do for um, a system of planning. You you mean the, the process is not the same. All right. How about this example number two? Um, I have um, no, how about this? I have uh, x square plus four y square equal four, and x square minus y square equal nine. So if you if you look at this one, you see that over here, um, I just uh, I can go ahead and multiply this one by negative one. Then what we have will be x squared plus 4y squared equal 4 and uh, we get a new equation by multiplying negative 1 so you have negative x squared because you want to use that opposite and the same right plus um, y squared equal negative 9 and what do we have over here what do we have over here when we add them up <coughs> which is give you 5y squared equal negative negative 5 so y squared equal negative 1 so y is equal plus minus i right Alright, what is going on over here? If you have something with complex number, okay, which is just not real because it's complex, it's imaginary number, then on the graph you don't have the intersection point. So in this case, we, the system is inconsistent, inconsistent system, okay? This is inconsistent system, inconsistent system. Okay, meaning no solution. Okay, in other words, no solution for this. No real solution. <coughs> okay, so it could be like that. It could be no solution. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, what else can we do here? Hmm. Okay. In my opinion, believe me, um, uh, for the system of nonlinear, I barely used um, elimination method. I mean, I can, but um, I'm, I'm not just. I, I, I barely use. I, I just don't do it. Why? Because I feel comfortable with the other method, which is substitution. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. But if you feel comfortable with elimination, just go ahead. I mean, it's, it still depends on some. Um, the, the problem right it still depends on the problem um, I can I can give you something like this example 3 what if I have a system like this I have y equal to um, negative x square uh, plus 6x minus 7 and over here will be y equal to x square uh, minus 10x plus 23 okay this is not linear right because it's, if you recognize this is parabola this is parabola and you see this is opposite and the same right if i go ahead and add them up eliminator so i add them up which we'll is give you what 2y equal to this cancel this you add them up with you negative 4x <coughs> right equal equal what equal um 20. okay so what what is going on over here <coughs> What is going on over here? Um, if you eliminate like this, right? Even though, even though that is uh, the same and opposite, you see that uh, if you eliminate it right this, your equation is in term of uh, two variable x and y. Okay, um, which is in my opinion is not good. So this is how I recommend you to do. So instead of eliminate the x over here, okay, so this was this is okay. It, it still work, but it's just harder. I think I'm gonna multiply. I multiply over here by negative one, and when I multiply by negative one here, so my equation on the top will be you keep it, but the equation at the bottom I use different color it could be negative y equal negative x square plus ten uh, x minus twenty seven. And when I add them up, the y is gone. So all, all you have left is the x. 
all right all you have left is the x okay so which is give you uh, minus uh, 34 you see all you have left is the x you can solve for this one okay you can solve it for this one so you um, just remove it to the other side <coughs> now I simplify it give you a uh, uh, x and this is give you uh, 17 right equal to 0 right um, did I calculate something wrong over here um, let me check oh yeah right here I got something wrong I copied them wrong this is not 27 it's 23 that's that's why uh, it's 23 and that's why over here is uh, 30 so if it is 30 then over here 30 and then over here 15 all right and now you see that you can go ahead and factor them so we have x minus 3 x minus 5 equal to 0 so over here I can apply the zero product property and x equal 3 and x equal 5 and now you can go ahead and, and plug them in plug it in here to get the y okay plug it in here to get a y so I plug 3 over there so you have a y equal to negative 3 square 6 times 3 is 7 which is negative 9 18 minus 7 which is 2 and over here you plug 3 5 over there give you negative 5 square plus 6 times 5 7 25 30 minus 7 uh, minus 2 Ah, I so you have two points. So the solution will be solution will be uh, three two and five negative two. So we have two two intersection point. Now you see that you see that for this one it worked, but you gotta do one more step, which is you have to use substitution in this case. And you see, because we do an elimination method now, we have not learned a substitution. So you can, but because you, you use the concept, you already learned intermediate. But this is not the best way, right? So you have you have to be uh, flexible. And for this one, you I eliminate, I give you, I show x right away. But this one, where I eliminate the x, I still get stuck with the x. So you have to be flexible. When you eliminate it, when you eliminate it, it means that there's no more. For example, if you eliminate x, there's no more x. You eliminate y, no more y. If I just eliminate this, we still have x and y, which is not the best method, not the best approach. So that's why I eliminate the y and, and we can solve for x. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see let's see what else. Alright, how about how about this one? Example number four right here. So I have I have a system like this. This system is interesting. Also, only have negative three over x. So I have a, a rational expression over here. One over one over y square equal equal thirteen. And over here I have a five over five over x square minus minus one over y square equal equal negative five. All right. So what is going on over here? So if you notice, you see that over here, right? They're the same and opposite. I can add them up. I can add them up. So if I add them up, what I have? The y will be gone, right? So what I have left is negative 3 over x squared, right? You add it to 5 over x squared. And the y is gone. 1 over y squared plus minus 1 over x squared square is gone. So on the right-hand side, I add them up if you give you... Um, 8 right 13 13 minus 5 is 8 and now what happened when well, you add them up is so you know there's only one variable left and you, you can solve for this equal 8 then you have x squared equal 1 over 4 which is uh, uh, which is x equal plus minus a half so you have two two x and now you're gonna go back go back in and, and plug into one of the uh, the equation so you have uh, I'm gonna plug into the first one so you can have negative 3 okay uh, 1 over 2 square 
right? Plus 1 over y square equal 13. All right, so we're going to solve for y. <coughs> okay, so I have 13 plus 3 over 1 over 4, which is 13 plus uh, 12, which is uh, 25. So your y square will be equal to 1 over 25, which is uh, y equal to plus minus 1 over 5. Okay, so you have you have two answers over here already. You have two answers over here. Solution. Uh, the, uh, the first one will be uh, a half and one five and a half and negative one five. That's the first two one. Now, but that is just uh, when we replace one half. What if I want to replace negative one half? So if you replace negative one half, it's, we just give you the same thing, right? negative one half plus one over y square equal 13 so which is equal to um, one over y square equal to 13 plus three over one over four right which is also 25 so over here y is also plus minus one five so what is gonna we have another just the other the other solution the other two which is negative uh, 1 over 2, 1, 5, and negative 1 over 2, negative 1, 5. All right, so totally for this problem, we have a uh, 4 intersection point 4 solution. Okay. Okay, the second method of solving the system of nonlinear course, it is. Um, um, uh, substitution method. Okay, substitution. And uh, this is my favorite method. I mean, because sub for substitution method, it, it works all the time, you know. And you can, you don't have to, uh, the good thing is that you don't have to find and determine uh, which variable you want to eliminate. All you have to do is you're gonna sub one variable in terms of the other one. You pick one equation, the one that's more convenient, the one you feel comfortable. You pick that one. You start you sub one equation, one variable in terms of the other variable. Then you plug them back. That's that's what this the substitution method for. Okay. For example, I have uh, I have a system like this. And uh, most of the time, when you use substitution method, you use for the system that contain only one nonlinear. The other one is linear. Okay. For example, in this one, you see that I have um, the first equation over here is nonlinear because I have a, a second degree, but the second equation I have linear. So when when you have one linear and the other the other one is nonlinear, you should use substitution. Actually, you, you, I mean, in this case, I mean, there's no way you can eliminate anything. You, you have to, you know, you, you must. It's an obligation here. There's no way you can do anything to eliminate it. So you have to use substitution in this case. And of course, the second equation is just linear. It's easier to manipulate. So I'm gonna pick this one to start. Okay, and then I'm gonna solve x in term of y, right? So little equation, you solve x in term of y. So you're gonna have uh, 50 minus 7y. Okay, all right. You sub x in term of y, so everybody know how to do this already. So then I'm gonna plug this in here into this into the first one. So if I go ahead and and draw this, uh, you can see that I'm gonna plug this one into this. All right. Then my equation become what? My equation become uh, 50 minus uh, minus 7y square, right? Uh, plus y square equal to 100. There you go. And now we have to expand this one out. I mean, to some student, to some student, okay. Substitution is hard, but to me, I mean, it's easier. It's, it's up to you. You you can use anything you want. But I mean, that's that's. But I already told you like If you have one equation nonlinear, the other one is linear. You should use substitution. I right, go ahead and expand it, which is give you uh, 2500. Um. 700y 
and plus 49y square plus y square equal 100 okay um, so have 50y square minus 700y uh, plus 2400 equal to 0 and uh, you divide both sides by 50 you have y square minus uh, 14y uh, plus this divided by 50 which is give you 48 yes all right you divide both sides by 50 okay so you have a quadratic now you can can go ahead and factor them uh, 48 is uh, 16 we six times 8 all right so we y minus 6 y minus 8 equal to 0 and here you go you can solve for y okay so for y so y equals 6 and y equals 8 now go ahead and plug into this to solve for x plug it over here okay so let me use different so that I'll plug this one in here all right we're going to solve for x so you have x equal 50 minus 7 times 6 x equal to 50 minus 7 times 6, which oh, is 7 times 8, uh, which is 50 minus 42, which is 8. 50 minus 56 would be negative 6. Alright, so you have two solution. Solution. Uh, two point. It will be the first point will be 8, 6. And the other point will be negative six, negative six eight. Okay, huh? that's how you do substitution. <coughs> of course, I mean some um, problem is uh, <laughs> you must use substitution method because there's no the other way. For example, for this one right here, I have a I have a system. I have x minus y square and. Uh, plus y square here equal to uh, uh, 25 uh, over here you have y square root x minus 8 whether or not this one uh, we can use uh, elimination I mean we, we can we can but um, for example over here you, I go ahead and square both sides you see the square over here I cancel out but if you if you do like that, I mean, it probably take more time, right? So you have to be flexible, okay? You gotta be flexible. So in this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and and put y, and you gotta plug y over here. Okay, you gotta plug y over there. Then my equation become what? My equation become um, my equation. My first equation become x minus y square. Uh, plus, right, you're going to have 3 square root of x minus 8 totally square, right, because the square for the y is still there, equal 25, here you go, now you have uh, x square minus 10, x plus 25, and you square this one, you can go ahead and throw the radicals here, you have 9, x minus 8, equal 25, and you keep expand well, and distribute it, which is equal to 9h, uh, 72 minus 25 to 0, so you have x square uh, minus x, 25, 25 is gone, minus 72 equal to 0. And this one you can factor them by because 9 times 8 is 72. So you have negative 9 plus 8 equal 0. Then you got 2x, right? x equal 9 and x equal negative 8. Now we're going to go ahead and plug into the first equation. Uh, the second equation, which is so we're going to have y plug into the second equation, you have uh, 9 minus 8, which is 3. Okay, and over here you have y equal 3, uh, negative 8. Negative 8, which is give you what? <laughs> give you uh, negative 64, right? Uh, which is 24i. Not good. So this, you see the answer over here is not good? Okay, the answer is not going. It mean it mean what? It mean that we have only one. We have only one answer, one solution. So, so solution over here. Solution over here will be nine and three. All right. I mean, you you just need to be flexible. Okay.
All right, let's see. Um, you can do uh, anything else here. Mm. All right, there's some problem is uh, very interesting, you know. Um, let's see. Example number, I don't know what example now. This one, two, so this one must be three. <coughs> Let's see. Uh, I try to find something special. How about how about this one right here? Okay. Um, x squared over four plus y squared equal one. X equal negative two y squared plus two. Okay, I'm trying to do substitution here. Okay. So if just think about that, if I uh, use the second uh, equation, right, and I plug this one in here, and you square it, which is give you the fourth degree. Just imagine if I do substitution like this. If I take this, if I take this, I plug it in here, right? Okay. Then my equation become what? Become negative two y squared plus two totally square over four plus y square equal one. Just think about it. You don't want to expand this one because this gives you the four degree. Right? You don't want to deal with that. So if I do substitution like this by picking the second equation, which is not good in my opinion. So I think I'm gonna pick the first equation. I'm gonna solve for y square. So solve for y square. So you have one minus x square over four. All right. Then you're gonna pick this one and you plug over here. Let's see what happened. If it is easy or not. Or, or will be the same thing. Oh, crap! It's it's, it's also give you the four degree. It's also give you the four degree. So um, I think in this one uh, we have to use the elimination. Yeah, which is easier. Elimination is easier. So that's why I mean you gotta be flexible. So this one, if you do substitution, this is, it's be, I mean, we can do it, but it's just, um, it's just hard to do. I mean, because you don't want to deal with the four degree. So, uh, I think you gotta do eliminate, you gotta do elimination for this, okay? Substitution is not nice, okay? We can, but I mean, it's, it's not gonna work, okay? It's not gonna, it, it, I mean, I, I mean, it's. I don't mean it's not gonna work. Like it, it take more time. I mean, and um, you guys don't know how to solve system of four. Um, so, uh, um, yeah, I think I think it's um, it's it's better to do elimination over here. Uh, so substitution is not working in this case. Okay, uh, elimination is is much better. So you see that no matter what I pick the first equation to start with or the second equation to, to do this to start with with uh, substitution it's not good. So I gotta do elimination. So how we do elimination over here? Hmm. Just imagine. Now let me let me use different color to uh, do this one okay because right now we gotta do a elimination and and substitution and give you something hard. So I think I'm gonna use this color. Now uh, I'm gonna keep this one. Okay. Then I'm gonna move this to the other side, which is uh, plus two y square equal to. So add it both sides by two y square. Now I'm gonna multiply. Okay. I multiply the first equation by negative 2. Then my new equation will become 
my new equation will become what? Will become uh, multiplied by negative 2, which is negative x squared over 2 minus 2y squared equal negative 2. And for the second one, we keep it. And what we see? You see the blue and, and the blue and the green over here, the opposite and and then and the same, you can go ahead and add them up, it's gonna cancel out. So when you have, go ahead and add them up, which is give you negative x squared over 2 plus x equals 0. Ah, you got negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So what I have right now is negative x squared by LCD uh, plus 2x equal to 0. And this is equivalent to x squared minus 2x equal to 0. And now you can factor them out, see that? Okay, factor them out. Sorry, I have something in my pack. Okay, uh, equal to zero, and this one x equal to zero, or x equal x minus two equal to zero, which is x equal to two. Okay, and now you see that we can solve for y. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna plug in, uh, plug over here, plug over here. Okay, so you have y square equal to 1 minus uh, minus 0 square over over 4 which is equal 1 so y equal to plus minus 1 and okay y square equal to 1 minus 2 square over 4 which is give you 1 minus 2 square is 4 over 4 which is 0 so y equals 0 so how many answer we have here solution my first answer will be 0, 1, and 0, minus 1, okay. Then the second answer will be, the second one, and the third one will be 2, comma, 0. There you go. So totally we have uh, three, three solutions like that, okay. Mm. Yep. So you have you have see I mean you have to be <laughs> you have to be flexible you know it's, 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 uh, uh, you gotta pick wisely which one work which one is not working um, if it is work then it's easy for you if it's not working then then you gotta switch this uh, you gotta switch gear you gotta do a different way you know what I mean um, yeah mm. okay. Good now. Okay. Um. So um. I think I'm gonna stop right here because um the strategy is just like that. But you had to pick wisely what method uh, you're doing. I mean, um, you have to practice a lot to get used to it because uh, each problem has different different approach depends on the problem. So you have to practice, okay? Um, I mean, um, as long as you practice, you should be okay. It's, it's not really that bad. And um, you can use. I mean, sometimes the question asks you to solve the system. You can use any method you want. You don't have to use elimination, or you don't have to use substitution. It just depends on you, okay? Alright, so I think we're going to stop here, and if you have any concern, please let me know, okay? So, uh, I will be seeing you next time in the next video.